I'm Trisha Salee and this is the problem for our statistics test. So our mean was 213.8207. Our standard deviation was 297.7982 and the size of the population or the sample was 11,766, which means that the degrees of freedom was one less than that. So to find a 95% confidence interval, your alpha is 0 0.05. So you divide that by two, and then you look in the table and you find that the t-value associated with that is 1.96. And this is the formula for finding a confidence interval. You take x bar and you add and subtract the t-value times the standard deviation divided by the square root of n. So this is just plugging in the numbers. So you have 213.8207 plus or minus 1.96 times 297.7982 divided by the square root of 11,766. And that gives this interval, which is 208.4397 um, less than or equal to mu less than or equal to 219.2017 and that is the confidence interval for a 95% a confidence interval for C and then D asked what this confidence interval means and it just means that if we were to repeat this and take another sample that we would have a 95% chance that the new confidence interval would contain the population mu mean mu. And then at E, we were supposed to do a 90% confidence interval, so you do the same thing. You find your alpha, which in this case is 0.1. You divide it by 2, so that gives you 0.05. You look in the table, and it tells you that your t-value this time is 1.645. And you do the same formula up here. So once again, this is the x bar plus or minus the t value times the standard deviation divided by the square root of the number of things that you used. And we got 209.209.3047 is less than or equal to mu. It's less than or equal to 218.3367. And that is a smaller interval because we're not as accurate in a 90% confidence interval as we are in a 95% confidence interval. And that is the conclusion of our test.